Since 2017, Singapore-based developer The Gentle Bros have churned out a series of action role-playing games centered around a heroic orange tabby gallivanting across worlds littered with cats, rodents, and dogs. The Cat Quest series is a string of adventures sprawled along an isometric world to explore and featuring brisk dungeon crawling, uncomplicated combat action, a loot-based leveling and upgrading system, and incredibly clever, pun-filled writing with characters' personalities bursting at the seams. Cat Quest 3 was featured at the April 17th Nintendo Indie Showcase, with a playable demo released shortly after, and fans of the series are in store for more furry fun. The demo starts with a beautifully animated introduction cutscene, setting the table for the adventure. The purring protagonist was washed ashore with a blue ghost-like companion who acts a bit like Olivia from Paper Mario the Origami King, the color commentary to the voiceless main character. The first island serves as a brief tutorial, explaining the melee combat, a blunderbuss that gives a ranged physical attack, and vendors from whom you can buy or sell equipment, perform upgrades, restore your health, and even initiate cooperative play. I was not able to test co-op, but the camera view is spacious enough to where I wouldn't expect issues doing so. Afterwards, you're able to commandeer a new ship for seafaring. There's a simple joy to sailing the seas. While segments of the world are petitioned off by dotted lines, presumably to be opened up as story beats are completed, the demo gives enough space for players to be able to glide along the water and engage in sea battles with other pirate ships. In sea battles, I had two cannonball attacks, a basic shot and a power shot. It mirrors the on-land toolkit where there are two separate basic and magic attacks. Whereas movement on land is precise, I had to account for a wide turn radius while circling combatants, which gave a distinct feel to these engagements. I suspect exploring the open waters will be a great addition that keeps Cat Quest 3 fresh. The on-land dungeon crawling in the demo was uncomplicated. Another camp pirate sent me into a cave to collect five items. It was linear exploration with scripted enemy placement and the way blocked off until they were dealt with. Small chests nearby contained mission-critical items, as well as a few that gave a new sword with better damage stats and an accessory that boosted overall health. Combat itself is slick, with our feline hero dodging and attacking with a smoothness that rivals Cat Quest's more well-known contemporaries like Hades. The electric spell plods forward, lasting 3-5 to five seconds, stunning and causing damage as it travels. It felt fantastic sending out the ball of electricity, walking along with it, and pummeling enemies in tandem. Boss battles were approachable, with indicators warning of incoming attacks and a life bar that was large but not prohibitively so. This was my introduction to the Cat Quest series, but in talking with fans I know, Cat Quest 3 could be catnip for devotees and incoming new players alike. Look forward to the game's release on Nintendo Switch on August 8th. This video was made possible by our generous supporters on Patreon. Did you know that Nintendo World Report is funded directly by fans like you? When you support Nintendo World Report on Patreon, you get immediate access to multiple exclusive podcasts every month, exclusive Discord channels, an early look at select content, and more. All for as little as a dollar a month. Check out patreon.com slash nwr for all the details.